everybody. I'm Fred Couples. We're here at the Madison Club in La Quinta, California. I brought my good buddy Mark Wahlberg down from LA to play a little golf, have some fun. What do you want to do? I want to try to learn how to play, Freddie. I'm a hack. <laughs> this guy can play a Partner. little bit. Partner! Let him fool you. You can't learn from this guy. Try another sport. <laughs> Thank you very much. better than those last three or four. Yeah, I definitely don't like to try to think about too many things, you know? Well, we're not gonna. He's got a lot of talent. You know, we were on the range and he was telling me a couple things like, you know, I just want to keep it. I just want to hit, hit, hit. And then when I start getting too many things in my mind, it proves he's no different than anyone else. I mean, I work with the greatest teacher in the world, Butch Harmon, and he just tells me what would be dumb to a lot of players. You know, stand up, hit it, get, get aimed well, and, you know, shorten your swing and all that. I think a good golfer or a bad golfer wants the same thing. They don't want to be overanalyzed. <laughs> We're here at the Madison Club, my home course. I've invited Mark Wahlberg to come down and play. One of the many home courses of Freddie Couples. Well, L.A. Augusta. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to have a good time, try and learn a few things, and uh, I'll find out more about him than he's ever going to find out about me on golf. But we're going to try and keep it easy and loose and have fun. It only there it off. is. All right. Good to <laughs> That is money, right? That is yeah. good. Reluctantly, I went to the to Riviera with with the real Johnny Drama and, and the real Ari. We went out to Riviera, and I didn't think golf was a sport. I was like, this is I have no time for this. And then, of course, I tried to hit a ball and I couldn't. And you know, from that point on, I was determined to to get better. I'm rubbing off on you, Freddie. <laughs> Outdriven, Joey. If I catch it, I catch it. This is pretty well downhill, so if I was going to hit this, I'd be shooting left of the pin or trying to. And I'd put a little more weight in my left side. And like I said, I'm trying to go left of this pin. And thinned it right in the bunker. No. You're playing how many times a week? Uh, now with three kids, it's tough. Maybe, you know, once or twice a week. You know? That's about it all I It used to I be play. a five, six, seven day. <laughs> Especially if I don't make the cut. <laughs> yeah. Then I get two rounds a week, so I'm right uh, with you. Uh, yeah, yeah but right. I, you know, it's the only way for me to get out there and really relax, get away from everything, yeah. you know. Love that's it. good. Can't well, that's what, that's what, you know. I, I, I'm 30 years on tour. I always tell Davis Love, my good buddy, that the most fun is once I get inside the ropes. The yeah. rest of the stuff, you can have it. Once I tee off with the two other guys I'm playing with, that really is fun for me. I'll Good swing. That one. Well, it's going to be on the back part of the green, but they didn't do us any favor with this pin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Putts right handed. Yep. Oh, I love it. Getting tricky on you. I love it. This thing's a weapon, too. It is a weapon. Get a little weight on that. Well, luckily I'm a good Straight putter. Straight up the hill, huh? As you can tell, okay. only good putters use uh, experimental clubs. I would chip this, but I'm also a lazy golfer, so I wouldn't walk all the way back to my cart to get the right club. No, 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 it's fine. Whatever I have in my hand, I use. Go, baby. Great pot. Go. Ho, oh, ho, ho. Team four, let's go to the next hole. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg, four for three. <clears throat> I like having a high handicap. Pretty par three. This whole place is gorgeous. Six iron. Yep. Good oh. swing. Get down. Yes, that's pure. It's there. No, this Thank could you. be, uh, this is getting better and better. It's 12 feet from the hole. Partner. Yep. 
Beautiful shot. Uh oh. Yeah. Great shot, Freddie. What do you got going right now? I've been training to do this boxing movie for two and a half years that hopefully we're gonna shoot uh, this summer. Me and Christian Bale. True story of Irish Mickey Ward. Yeah. Ever see Mickey fight? No. See those great battles of him and the Toro Gotti? Wow. He, uh, he's uh, from Boston as well. A journeyman fighter who won the world title. Him and his brother, they, you know, their mother was their manager and their promoter. And uh, That's a great story. So when yeah, you do that, really, you really are... rough life they had. I mean, he was fighting, in, you know, at yeah. racetracks. And, yeah. You know, For how much? And what would he? Seven hundred bucks. <laughs> and and then, this is gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. So well, you're hopefully. I've been training for it, you know, three hours a day for two and a half years. It better happen. <laughs> you know. No fake camera work here or anything. Two. Two birdie putts. Now we come to the strongest part of my game, where my caddy reads the putts. And for the folks at home, I hope you're noticing that Mark either putts right-handed, because he's a horrible putter left-handed, or... I started playing righty. There you go. Everybody told me there's no lefty golfers. And then you go to Canada, and that's all you see, because they're all hockey Correct. players. Correct. But, uh, but you putt right because of vision, or it just feels good? Yeah, it just feels better. I still play righty every once in a while. Hit it. Wow. All right. What did you just say? You, you still play righty? Yeah. Golfing? Every once in a while. Wow. Nice par. When I've given up on the lefties, go back to the righty. I'm just a recreational golfer. You know, but it's good for me because I work so hard. I got a lot of stress in my life, so it's nice to get out there and get away from everything. You know, Compute, uh, the competitive juices get flowing, but for the most part, we just go out there and try to have fun. <laughs> He's shaking like a leaf. I would rather be in a bunker than hit it and have it bounce over a green. So when you hear announcers say, oh, he's in the sand, he's in a better spot, what they're saying is he's in a spot that would be easier than if he went somewhere else. Specifically, in nowadays, the rough we play out of is very thick and heavy. So most people have no problem playing it out of the sand. <laughs> Go in. Now, hang on, just to show, this is a perfect divot where you start here and the whole thing is the same. So even if, even for people at home, if they're gonna go under the ball and, the, and they're shallow, as long as it's not going down and digging mm -hmm. or hitting up and your, and your divot's not deep or long. That's when, usually long. when you hit the ball. Like yeah, so your ball was sitting here. You're strong enough that you get speed, you come down. I mean, that's perfect. I'm gonna hit one real quick. Your club face was pretty square and it's gonna come out like that, and it's, it looks good, and it's gonna roll, I don't know how far by, 10, 12, 15 feet? Okay, I'm trying to get you to get the ball a little higher and softer, so I want you to open the face, and in my opinion, you need bounce. So I'm gonna open it way up, and I'm not gonna try and do a whole lot differently. Basically, for the people at home, bounce is when you get in the bunker, and you open the face, that's fairway, that's the bounce, and it's right here, and that's what gets under the sand, under the ball, into the sand, and carves through the sand. You need bounce, otherwise it'll be too sharp, it'll stick into the sand. Regrip the club, and try and hold it right there, and just get the club to go under the ball. Yeah, there you go. And one of the things, on some of them is you're actually trying to help it up and you're hitting yeah, back coming here. Up. Exactly. Yeah, and when you I hit... gotta trust it and try to go through it Th like that. There you go. That's it. Well, that's a good shot. Looks like you're gonna make a three. Yeah. <laughs> Prison's intimidating, Freddie. <Freddy. laughs> that's <laughs> right. Prison is intimidating. <laughs> Everything else. I don't ever want to see it. This is all easy. Everything else is gravy. <laughs> First time I came here, I was like, this is incredible. Look at ice cream cones. My kids would go bananas in here. Look at that. Ooh. Hey, Big A. That's a good little. 
Yeah. This is Big, big A's a. breakfast. Big a. Right here. big a, step in here. Big A, show him some of your you tricks. Want, you want a caramel sundae or uh, chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a cold beef double cheeseburger? Oh. It's the Madison Club. Somebody will come and take this off my back. We'll have a new shirt on you in an hour. Don't worry. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> it's the Madison Club. They don't allow you to walk around with this big right. shirt. Eighth hole at Madison, beautiful par five. Water all the way to the right, creek up the middle of the fairway. All right, good swing here. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Holy cow. 16 handicap, baby. Yeah. That is mashed. Great ball, Freddie. Thank you. Now, how did you get hooked up in golf? Because you said you liked it when you were I little. started playing with, with my agent, Ari. The first time I ever played, they took me to Riviera. How old were you? The real Johnny Drama, uh, maybe 10 years ago. Wow. And then they took me to Riviera, and this was when I was a bit of a mess. So I'm drinking <laughs> beer out there, right, trying to drive the car on the greens. You know, almost got them kicked out of the place. <laughs> And uh, I was playing righty. I almost killed Peter Falk. I was, I was putting the ball on a tee like 30 yards away from the green, just trying to hit it as hard as I could. <laughs> and, uh, but then I got, you know, my competitive juices flowing. I was like, I got to figure out how to play this game. Casey's a caddy here. And there's like, obviously, three different ways you can play 270, it. 270, yeah. Wind game. So you can either lay up hitting about a 170 shot, keeping it up the left side. Or there's some room once you get past that tall pine. Uh -huh. And you've got some, you can hit three wood up there. Well, let me hit the five wood. I ain't come up here to lie up. Okay. That's for sure. It won't be the first golf ball I've lost. Awesome. That's the shot. And that's what Casey tells everyone to go that way. It's a little, to be honest with you, you'll see. You've played here now. It's a little more intimidating, but it's the right way to go. Mark, I'm going for the green, and half the time I play here, if I hit it in the left bunker, that's dead, no matter how good a bunker player you are. You can't get it anywhere near the pin. But if I overcut it, I'm in the creek. So that's why Mr. Fazio did such a great job, because it's very reachable for me. But if I don't hit a really good second shot, I'm probably not going to make a four. Well, that's a good shot. Looks like you're going to make a three. Yeah. <laughs> Good shot, Freddie. You could play the club here and have your feet closer together and play a little bump shot and get it going down the hill. Now we're in the 13th hole. Obviously, it looks intimidating, Mark, but it's a little more open. It looks it's 430, 440. And just like you've been driving, you're going to want to take it right down the fairway. You can push it a little or pull it. And then we got nothing but probably a seven or eight iron. Prison's intimidating, Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. A little better. Yeah. Short of the bunker. Yeah, we're not going to have six or seven iron. It's into the wind. No, that's a low one. I, I might have overzealous that little call. That's all right. I'm going to take it on the same line. That's smashed. Oh, my God. That's better. Isn't it hilarious? And I know you've seen it, and I, I've done it, but like sometimes you go do a commercial and they put you a little bit like out of your element. And I get to where I can't even function. And I mean, and, and so that's where I tell people like yourself, have a good time. Half the fun is telling jokes and laughing. Yeah. Good swing. Stayed out there. How's the face look right there? Shot. Thank you. I have a shot at winning this hole. You guys masquerading as a 15, 16 handicap. Swing your arms, don't move your body. Just swing your arms. 
much better. Much better. That's not going to stay, though, is it? Well, I mean, that's that's a very, very good shot. So when you're standing here, a little less this, yeah. just, just swing your arms. There you go. Just move your arms. Sweet. Really good. If the grass was cut down lower, you could play the club here and have your feet closer together and play a little bump shot and get it going down the hill. But since you're trying to get a little in the air, I'd like to see if you can widen your stance a little bit and then just try and, this shouldn't move much. You're just gonna swing your arms. Similar to the bump shot, right? Huh? Not as aggressive Yeah, though. but it's getting that face yes. open and yeah. opening up a little bit more. Yeah. Very good. Very good. That rolled a foot. Yeah. I always try and speed up through the ball no matter what. I, even if I tee it high, I'm going through the ball as hard as I possibly can. Swordfish tacos. The hole in one bar, please. Okay. Two holes later, after the double Kobe burger. Cheese. Mucho. Mucho what? Gordo. What's Gordo? Before I really <laughs> say something bad. Oh. Doesn't get any better than that. Her food? <laughs> Makes him gordo. <laughs> <laughs> I need a nap after this. I can't go after this. All right, Marky, par five. Best hole in the valley. Right at that bunker, huh? Yeah. And if you into this little wind, you know, it's if you hit it up the left side, you're good too. <laughs> That's absolutely perfect. I thought that, that taco was going to get me. <laughs> but I have a stronger grip so I can get the club cocked much easier. And I think a lot of amateurs have stronger grips, which helps them. So I rely on just making a turn with my shoulder. I'm not so worried about where my lower body goes on the backswing. And then once I come down, my lower body is just going as hard as I can to try and get through the ball. But a lot of times, if you do swing, or as we say, steer it, you don't want to be slowing down through the ball, because any miss will make the ball curve a heck of a lot more. So I always try and speed up through the ball no matter what. I, even if I tee it high on a par five, swing as hard as I can, I still am going through the ball as hard as I possibly can. How good is that? If I drove it up there, it's just too far. Same line as Mark's. <clears throat> he hit a five iron, I'm hitting a three. That's how it is. Is it true that when you say you can't make any money playing golf, guys like Mickelson well, might go on your 16. show? Well, that's correct. We'll keep that down. But what do you pay Phil when he comes on your show? You give him food and beverages? You got to pay to come on the show. You know? No, <laughs> Phil. Pay. I love yeah, that. No, I Phil was that. nice enough. I think I, HBO is kind of tough unless you're, you know, on the series as a regular. They're pretty cheap. But no, he but, got you know. what he deserved. He got to be on with your guys. Yeah, he did a great job, yeah. and it was one of the more memorable episodes. Not many people die on that show, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Ah, that was awful. Stay short. All right. Sand wedge. Kind of in the middle of my stance. For me, that's... I might not have hit it hard enough. I'm all about feel. So if I've got, like this one was 91, I just make my body from hitting balls all the time, try and hit it 90 yards. Uh, same technique. If I have to hit it a little bit more, like 100, it's pretty much a full swing. So anything, if, you know, if, like if I laid it up here, as I did 90 yards, that's perfect. It wouldn't have been great to have it 60 because it's too short of a shot. And then from here, I can go ahead and pretty much hit it full because it was into the wind. But all and feel for me. Not much technique, as you can tell, the way I play. Technique's out the door. 
Perfect. Uh, no, that's there's nothing wrong with that. You'll yeah, better obviously, yeah. but I want to try to get no, it. No, you want to fly. So you're just too. To get it to the hole. You're too open on this. I might yeah. have got you. I just weight. gotta try to trust it. You know, get used to it. Yeah. That's all. I actually used to play a flop shot, but you know, if you don't play enough, you know, you don't really have that confidence in those little those little trick shots. Oh, somebody gave me these, and at first I thought they were cool, right? Then I realized, wait a second, I'm hitting these off people's houses. I don't want my name on the thing. <laughs> Bango. Hey, boy, oh boy. You know, when I first started playing the game, I was like, this is what I want to do. And then to see what it takes to grind. Oh, God. 